I, you know, I, I, I don't. I have sense? no idea what's going to come out of the dream. So I, don't I think it's fine whichever one you choose. What you do is just tell me the dream in the present tense as if it's happening now. Okay. Well, Dick and I are in the midst of a crowd, and I'm trying to get his attention. He's distracted, and there's a kind of an omin ominous kind of dreariness in the weather and the environment mm -hmm. the time out yeah. Yeah. Dick wants to purchase this deadly snake and I'm still trying to communicate with Dick trying to connect with him and uh, he gets this snake and then all of a sudden the snake just <laughs> around him all the way around, coils around him and it's like it's going to squeeze the life out of him and so I jump on his back and I rip at the snake. And it's almost like I'm suspended off the ground. And I'm left there in my arms like this with this rib cage. Mm. With no flesh, no anything. There's mm. no, Dick isn't there, the snake isn't there. Skeleton just, rib cage. Yeah, just a, a rib cage. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. There's Dick in the dream, and he's distracted. There's you in the dream. There's the crowd. There's the deadly snake. Oh, dreariness. The snake coils around back. And then there's the rib cage that you left home. Skeleton rib cage. Yeah, after I yank at the snake, mm -hmm. um, then I'm left with just this rib cage. Oh, and I'm suspended a little off the suspended ground. Suspended off the ground. So there's almost this kind of majestic, ethereal kind of mm -hmm. feel to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, and it's not. And there's no more frustration. There's a lot of frustration. Okay. So just the dreariness, the danger, all that stuff is gone, and you're just right. left with this skeleton rib cage. Um, is there a part of this dream that has more energy for you than another part? The rib cats. Uh, one of the strongest images for me right now. I might just have you talk to that skeleton rib cage. Would that be all right? Sure. Okay. Here it sits. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say? Um, I don't know how you happened. I Is that a question? I, I, well, I guess I could ask you how you happened. Mm -hmm. You seem very magical. I imagine you have magical powers. But I don't know how you happened. You want to ask? Um, how did you happen? <laughs> Be the skeleton rib cage. Just kind of sink into being. It. Maybe I need to describe myself. You do. You do describe yourself. I'm this big rib cage. I have no flesh. I'm, my ribs are almost like porcelain. Hmm. Uh, I'm intact. Intact? I'm not broken. Mm -hmm. And she wants to know if you have magical powers. He's off the ground. There's an airy, ethereal feeling um, about having her arms around you. I'd like to tell you yes. Yes, I have magical powers. Mm -hmm. And how did you get here? I think that was her other question. And that maybe there's a little history about how you got here. I don't know. I don't know. This doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. No? <laughs> well, let's keep going with this a little okay. bit and see. Okay. 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 Yeah. Um, I have the power to... Well, 
I have the power to lift you out of dreariness. How I do that is... Is I, I allow you to hold me as I lift you. Uh -huh. And you were ripping the snake away from Dick. Mm -hmm. uh, you weren't going to be able to, one get the connection you were looking for. Two... With Dick, you mean. Yeah, with Dick. Two, you weren't going to be able to handle the snake. Mm hmm So you were going to continue to be frustrated and in all this dreariness. I see. So I just lifted you out of it. So I lifted you out of the dreariness. Uh -huh. All right. Come over here. Well, why would you do that? Hmm. I mean, uh, it's my dreariness. Uh -huh. why, why would you lift me out of it? <laughs> There's other things for you to do. Say more. Well, you were stuck. Hmm. Stuck trying to rip the snake away from Dick, stuck in the dreariness. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you, there was nothing you could do. You actually couldn't get that conversation going. Mm. You couldn't move through the distractions. Uh-huh. And you couldn't rescue him from the snake when it was his decision. Uh-huh. So, actually, you were in a no-win situation, mm -hmm. and you have other things to do. I am the part of you that... I am the part of you that is alive at all costs. Uh-huh. I am the survivor. I am yes. Okay. I am the survivor in you. Uh huh. So I can lift you out of. So I can lift you out. Of impossible situations. Of impossible situations. Uh huh. And I've been doing that how long? And I've been doing that for a long time. Mm hmm. How long? Um, way, way back? Yeah, sure. Since you were a child? Since you were a child. Yeah. All right. So I have that magical power to lift you out of impossible situations, and I've done it for a long, long time. Yeah. See what you do for you. Do you want to be rescued? Oh, I feel kind of like, uh, no. I don't want to be rescued. So <laughs> say that to this part. I don't want to be rescued. I, I don't want to be rescued. Uh -huh. There was something else I was um, feeling about. Oh, I know, you know, what I'm feeling about this is it's, uh, I'm feeling a real expansiveness. Hmm. That's why I'm having difficulty identifying the feelings. Mm -hmm. Because the feelings are not, um, heavy. Heavy. They're light. But that's right, they're light. <laughs> and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm very comfortable in navigating the heavy, mm -hmm. dreary. What I'm feeling is the absence of problem. Yes, so that's an unfamiliar place. And that's an unfamiliar place. Okay, so now what do you want to say to this energy? Well, um, 